first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the drive that's required to install directory listener according to the sizing guide. So we'll check to make sure that we have our secondary drive. We do. And then just like all the other servers, we need to perform the reboot. And this would be a good time to also check to make sure that that server is also in um, EDR AV bypass mode. We'll go ahead and go to our downloads folder where we downloaded the software. And again, we're going to right click and run as administrator. Go ahead and select next. Go ahead and select next. We're going to uncheck our, the storage manager and the security engine node. So the only thing that should be selected is the directory listener study. Go ahead and select next. And here, the RabbitMQ address is going to be the address of the security engine node. So let me go grab that information. All 
And for me, that's going to be the 172 address. Again, that's the IP address of your security engine node, and then we can go ahead and select next. Go ahead and just select next again. It's going to warn you that um, you can install the secure relay after the reboot. This can be installed on the directory listener server itself, or it can actually be installed on a separate server. For this installation, we're going to install it on the directory listener, but that will be the last part of this series. So go ahead and select OK, and then go ahead and select Install. We're going to pause the video while this installs, and we'll come back when it's done. Welcome back. Now we completed the installation of the directory listener server. Let's reboot and check the services. All right, let's log on and check our services. Here we're looking for the Tenable Study Service. And we can see that it's running. So this concludes the installation of Directory Listener. Stay tuned where we'll actually do the last part of the installation, and that will be to install the secure relay.